Today we're going to my favorite pawn shop to look for video games, cards, retro toys, and more. But there's a twist. I'm gonna be joined by a longtime viewer who's turned into a good friend who's going to be trading me a very rare and valuable item. And when I say rare, I mean it. I think this will legitimately be the most rare item in my entire video game collection. But I need to trade a lot to get this item. The current owner of this item is in our Discord reseller community. He mainly resells uh, rock band and guitar hero accessories. He kind of specializes in that stuff. And I've accumulated a ton of these, mainly from when I bought out the game barn with 50,000 games and all the guitar hero and rock band stuff. So I've got a ton of it that hopefully I can trade toward this incredibly rare video game item. This is the first time we've met in person, so I'm gonna take him out to thrift some of my favorite spots. Look at that, we got better, better good wills in Carolina. So One point for Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you wanna sell that? <laughs> 10 bucks, Ten that's bucks. tough. Check the, check the corrosion. Yep. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. clean. that's a nice one. Now, Chase, you normally buy these for one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't buy them anymore. <laughs> you don't buy them at all anymore? No. I do them, but they, I, don't, I don't make much on them. I make maybe like 10 bucks. Yeah. Um, I started selling them when we fit you, and when those sell, I make a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a good tip. Yeah. Personal alarm. Arm alarm. It's that's very a stylish. weird size battery. Yes, it is. <laughs> the battery may be worth more than the one. <laughs> Probably. Does anybody need any remote? <laughs> this is made for Andre the Giant. Get a mess with the boom box, the yeah. Sony Explode. Yeah, I have. Why look for this over other speakers? This is, this is just a notable brand. A notable uh, so Sony Explode. Sony, Sony Explode. The boom boxes go for like 200 bucks or something. Does it get a barcode okay. on it? About 50 bucks plus ship. So... I got it for 25. I'd buy it for five. <laughs> <laughs> the price is so high. So we've got some super solid games here. Madden, uh, Madden, Madden, uh, NBA Live, and Madden. Don't forget. Madden. Oh, yep, Madden. There it is, man. Go shred. Nice, bro. Look at the guy. Cryptonics. Mismatched skates, bro. The wheels. Look at that. <laughs> it's got some good hours on it. I was hoping I'd... I'd find something glorious over here while you guys were over looking at the Maddens. <laughs> what do you mean? We got we got three pound three pound dumbbells right here. So for your morning walks. I can't. What'd you find? Mm, I don't... <laughs> not, not too so, sure. So this is a classic uh, eBay mistake uh, from from most people. If you ever are looking or sourcing out in Goodwill, you you first kind of see when you look it up that what. What they're listed for, that's right. But then when you do completed and sold items, you see the bad news. <laughs> 120 down to 20. 20. <laughs> we thought we had a hit, but. We always know it. you can lock that filter on too, that's, that sold list filter. That's true, yeah. So we're having fun just looking around to find profitable items at Goodwill, and I wish we got this on camera, but here's what happened. We asked an employee if she had seen any games, electronics, or anything like that, that were about to be put out and she said no. But then literally a minute later, she audibly gasps and says, I do have this. All right. Well, she just brought that off the cart. That's good, not sealed. So it's gotta be it's pretty sealed, decent. man. That's a winner. All right, let's see this for kicks. What let's is, see. What it's, uh... Let's see what the value is. Yeah. So we've got some that have sold uh, for as much as $69 on eBay. Um, it looks like 45 between 45 and 55 is a more pick it up brother uh, regular price there so this is a pretty great find and uh we didn't even find it they just they even handed it to us so <laughs> yeah. pretty great. well seth said about 45 to 55 70 tops on ebay amazon it's 100 so for 529 that's a good store. <laughs> good score. Would you rather sell it on eBay or Amazon? <laughs> but before we head to the pawn shop and score big, let's talk about what I'm going to be giving away on Whatnot on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. This guy right here, N64 
complete in the box. Plus all of these games, Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, my favorite game of all time, one of them. Zelda Majora's Mask, Donkey Kong Smash, Mickey Speedway, Wrestling. We're giving away all of this. Plus, if you saw the video from a couple weeks ago, we bought the entire license set of US N64 games. We've got them all and we're selling every single one of them in one auction. It's gonna be a blast. So Whatnot is a place where we hang out with you guys, where we sell games. You can check out our referral link in the description below. You'll get 10 free dollars if you use that link to sign up and come hang with us on Whatnot. We're gonna be adding hundreds of Switch games to the Buy It Now section. We're gonna be adding so many Buy It Nows for you to be able to use that $10 credit or on any of the auctions of the N64 games. We got the heavies. PGA European Tour, Duck Dodgers, Goemons, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, Ogre Battle 64, Mystical Ninja Go Goemon, Blitz Special Edition, Blockbuster Exclusive, Beast Wars, Super Bowling, oh like crazy rare, Bomberman 64, The Second Attack, Clay Fighters, Sculptors Cut, the Holy Grail. Yes, we are auctioning that off starting at $1. Oh. Starting at $1. Oh, no. Worms Armageddon, Stunt Racer, all of these. All of these stacked up over here. There's 296 of them, guys. We're auctioning off every single one. Plus, we found 75 manuals to be paired with the games. About 10 of them we paired with boxes. We're selling them all. Tomorrow, Wednesday, at 5 p.m. Eastern, we'll probably hang out until about 10 p.m. Eastern. A lot of people have found us over there and said, man, this is a blast. We found you guys here and discovered you have YouTube. Well, come out and hang with us. If you've never hung with us on whatnot, there's about a thousand people already going to join. Yeah. So like, <laughs> honestly, it is so much fun. That's when you get to see Sky Guy be hilarious, do impressions. Give me a Peter. Um, well, you're really putting me on the spot here. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've been doing Bob from Bob's Burgers this whole time, every <laughs> single video ever. So come and hang with us on Whatnot, guys. We truly have a great time. We love Whatnot. We love the platform. Use our link down below to get your $10 credit. Thank you to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to my favorite pawn shop. All right, we're now going to hit up my favorite pawn shop in town. So Seth, I hope you like it. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Well, we, they just told us that some guy came in, a viewer, whoever you are, I will find out, and uh, <laughs> bought a bunch of Super Nintendo games from Chase. Y'all got that bag of Super Nintendo games for me still back there somewhere <laughs> that I bought an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy mercy, what is that? Oh, oh, yeah. That's a that super, oh, that's a that's super Star Destroyer, all right? You got 500 on it? I would yeah, love it. 500. No tax for you guys. Do not tax for us. Yeah. Oh, this is Sweet a display. Mercy, dude. This is the... That is it. It's out of the oh, box. Wow. But... That's beautiful. I, I wanted one I of these growing up. I'm very intrigued by this right now. Is this the biggest Lego set? So, top uh, three? Uh, top like three pieces wise? Uh, probably. The, the, the Death, Death Star, Star is up there. The Super Star Destroyer is one. It's from the Ultimate Collector Series. But why is this my favorite pawn shop? Well, to start, they have everything that I love. Video games, cards, toys, and collectibles. But what really keeps me going back is the fact that the staff is incredible. They're really nice. We become friends and they're willing to negotiate. Shout out to Frankie and Harvey. There's some nice cards. I don't have that Caesar. They, they do have a lot of stuff in here. Yes. Yeah. Black Star Pro. Um, they got new stickers, man. I like them. Yeah. Okay, so what do you normally look for when you first come here? Games, cards, just take it all in. <sighs> what do you? Games. <laughs> I'll go over the games, 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 but they do have cards. I'm seeing right here a Game Boy SP for 80 with the link cable, which is like 20. So that kind of brings the buy cost down on that. Mm -hmm. Looks uh, like Seth is uh, eyeballing guitar right, here. I gotta look over here then real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something you don't see every day. Engage, a sealed engage game. Yeah. Uh, what the heck is that? Nokia handheld. Yeah. Uh, I've yeah. only seen that every day like the last six or seven days, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> 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 I like that for 10 bucks. I don't even care. I want it. It's <laughs> awesome. I want that. Rick's gonna want it. He's uh, he's doing that 90s toy section in his store now. 1994. Oh, yeah. That'll just play well. Hey Mike, should uh, I include that or yeah. bleep that out? No, yeah, he's... Okay. <laughs> he, he would love it if we included that, I think, actually. <laughs> okay. For you, Mr. Rick. Rick of the Retro. Rick of the Retro. Yeah, they got Jim's some nice games. That's where they're putting their nice stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, Pawn Shop, Frankie manager here is awesome. They're cool with us. We've done a lot of deals here. One thing that we always work out, like this thing, I already set it to the side. I already know. 
if we're at 100 bucks on something i'm gonna say throw this in <laughs> so just a little tip bundle things in the cheap stuff so that's probably done it too <laughs> so absolutely we'll see if we can work out some deals i don't know if we're gonna be able to pop on the lego thing gi joe jungle survival i wonder what that's worth they got 100 bucks on it hmm. if i saw it at a garage sale for a dollar i'd be real excited i'll tell you that <laughs> Is this the older one or the newer one? That's a good question. 42111. So it's 2014 Disney yep. Store. The Disney Store 2014. He's an older, I mean, newer version. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's a trip, man, seeing you come in here, dude. <laughs> I was out here, he's like, man, he ain't been in here? I was like, nope. <laughs> it's been a minute. I ain't seen him about a year. Uh, the Game Boy SP. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. It's got little stickers on it, so it made me an offer, man. Okay. It's imperfect. It's got stickers on it and stuff like that. So yep, yep. It does have the charger and everything. So fifty bucks on that? Yeah. Done. Sweet. Yep. Done. All right, we're gonna make a pile today. Yep. Take your time, man. Take your time. And you can go Stay around here, man. Okay. okay. Cool. You're good. You're appreciate good. you. Yep. You're good. You're probably the only one. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> I really do. He's, he said Chase, not you or me, so we gotta stay on this side. <laughs> Glad I'm with Chase. <laughs> One uh, normally that people don't look at a lot of times, of course, PC games, they have to have the key and sometimes they're difficult to sell. This particular one is a decent one um, that normally would not be priced that high. It sells anywhere from 30 to 50, but they know what's up here, uh, oh, sadly. 30. Uh, but I've sold this one probably uh, four or five times, so. Good one to look out for. Thank you. Get a new PC. All I know about this one. What was the last one on it? Dude, that's a great game. It's, I had it's over 50. I, 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 it's been a lot while since I looked. Yeah. But if it had the manual, that'd be real nice. Yeah. We might work something out. Um, McDonald's. That's a super fun game, too. Really? Have you ever played it? No, I've never played it. It, it was made uh, by Treasure. That's the same people that did Dynamite Heady and also did Gunstar Heroes. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. So it's actually, it's a running gun with Ronald. No uh, kidding. Super fun. So. Oh, you got a whole stack of more. Well, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. I wonder how much McDonald's spent to produce this game. <laughs> I don't know. Seriously. How about Crystal's ponytail? <laughs> Strider. That's That'll go in one. my personal collection. Hey. Oh, that, that's good. One. Toxic Crusaders. Keeps bringing stuff out from the back. All these are pretty rough shape. Pretty rough shape, yeah. I'd say these are the decent ones out of here. Probably that stack. Look look at that one. Crystal Pony. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I love that one. <laughs> oh, this is uh, the Sega Club, which I think was like for kids. Yes. I think that was uh, like a... Oh, so it's a baby kids game. brand, yeah. <laughs> but maybe it's rare. <clears throat> maybe yeah. it was fire. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I think it's still worth looking at this, even though it does have some damage on there. This game is good, but you got to get it for the right price. Yep. Uh, De what? Definite bolo. They is got it marked at 85, and that's. So it came out for, for Xbox 360. Original, GameCube. original Xbox. Oh, original Xbox. PS2 sorry. and GameCube. Yes. Yep. And is it. GameCube's GameCube? the best, PS2's second best. This is third best. They're all, as far as value goes, they're all very good to look for. Uh, with a better label, 15 to 20, actually. So. So maybe I maybe ten bucks. Yeah. Eight ten bucks. Yeah. Or Sky yeah. Guys collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Chase was telling me that you liked all the the pony games, like the Barbie Barbie. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Horse riding. Yeah. All that. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> all right, uh, cut that. All right, so Chase is pulling out a little stack of these. Rip a box while we're here too. <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna buy a box, start so opening up packs. Let's get a nice cake cutting <laughs> hand. Yeah. Let's get one of those. I, I love optic. I will say that. Uh, anyways, we're Chase is yeah. gonna look up some of these, and we'll update you on what stack we end up getting. This pawn shop has a ton of cards to look at, so Frankie actually brought out a bunch of extra Pokemon cards for us to look into. Now there's a lot of amazing cards here that I want to buy, but I'm holding off for our next episode for a series that we're starting, something that I've never been this excited about on YouTube. So subscribe if you're interested. Fitbit zip right there, they got 40 on it. Those go for about 70 brand new. So just a little bolo for you guys. They are packed full of inventory. This is my favorite shop, Sky Guy. You better believe it. I know, why don't we come here more often? I don't know. All this, 250 bucks. Shout out to Fast Cash. Very nice as that. Sealed, Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah, sealed. Nice, nice. Got eighty-five dollars for the Sega Genesis games, highlighted by McDonald's Treasure Land. The best Adventure. game. Road Rush Two, NBA Jam in there. 
Then I got these three on top for um, 70 altogether. So that's Avatar, Baller Gate, Dark Alliance 2, Plants for Zombies Sealed. The Game Boy SP with the link cable for 50. This G.I. Joe thing, there's no comps on it anywhere, but we agreed to 40 bucks on that it. Was a rough one. Yeah, tough to find. <laughs> is it and just clothes? Five bucks on that. Yes. The yeah. cool part is that it's in the original package, but there's just nothing out there. <laughs> that's like 10 bucks, I think you said, and 15 for something like that. Yeah, that's what they but do right in now. But in the package, it's like, who knows? Yeah, exactly. So, Packs 40 bad, bucks. We checked out at the pawn shop, got some amazing scores with a variety of items. It's definitely a pawn shop I need to go to more frequently, but now it's time to dive in to probably the most incredible trade that I've ever done. It's time for the reveal. I'm really excited. I've seen a picture of this thing. It's a controller that you found at a thrift store. Let's check it out. Yeah, so literally I was at a thrift store. Uh, there was an N64 that was there in the thrift store. Uh, marked at $85 for the console. Uh, I didn't think it was a great deal at the time, but I thought, well, maybe they got some games in there. Maybe there's the expansion pack. You guys know that. Like, if you see the expansion pack in there, it's a, that's a game changer. Pulled it out of the case that it was in uh, because I saw a silver and black controller with it. And I was like, oh man, third party controller, that's no good. When I pulled it out further, I realized there was actually something a little more rare. So, this controller was actually a giveaway from Nintendo Power. Uh, only a thousand were made. I actually think there's a, we have a pic of the original ad uh, mm -hmm. that shows that. There was only a thousand of these made and they were given away as a contest to Nintendo Power. Mm -hmm. And this was found in a thrift store in 2022. And this is it. <laughs> oh there my it gosh. is, man. It's unreal. And I love that they just used it as a regular controller. <laughs> this was somebody's like it's primary some, it's controller. It's got a little love, which I love. I mean, that's fantastic. It's been used and loved and cherished by somebody else without even knowing what it is. One in a thousand. Hopefully I got enough uh, drums and guitars <laughs> to go towards this. And some cold hard what, cash. What do you think? Is this... Is this a good start? I think this is a great start. It's a great start. It's a great start. I, I got more in the storage unit, too. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. But as I'm showing you this controller, Seth actually came down, got some dongles, some bundler games, all to go with the guitars that he got in the trade. So for some systems, the guitars or drums actually need a wireless USB receiver or dongle to plug into the system for it to actually work and they can be worth quite a lot of money if they are complete with everything. We even went to my storage unit, picked up a bunch more guitars, boxes for guitars, full on band sets, and loaded up his truck. So for those of you that don't know, I've kind of got a thing for the N64 controllers. I love them, all the designs, and this one has been on my mind for a long time. This thing is special. You could only obtain this through the Nintendo Power Magazine. It was a giveaway that you had to mail in, and they would only still select a thousand of those people to actually win one of these Millennium 2000 controllers. This thing, it's unique. So it's got a kind of a chrome silver front and then a black back. All of the buttons are black, except for the start button and the joystick, which is also kind of unique to this controller. And of course, the most obvious notable thing is the Millennium 2000 listed there. This thing is crazy rare. This one has a little bit of love, a little bit of wear. They actually used it as a controller, the owners that got this controller, which is awesome. I kind of like that that adds to the story. Unbelievably excited to add this extremely rare gem to the collection. This was definitely a big trade. And when doing a trade like this, I wanted to make sure that Seth got really good value for this crazy rare item. I think I probably traded anywhere between like seven thousand to ten thousand dollars in value of guitars and rock band instruments that being said all this stuff was untested it's just like in our hair we have so many things to get to with the game barn and hobby shop buyouts that honestly i didn't really want to deal with it and it would have probably cost me thousands in labor to process and to go through everything so it made sense for me to clear some space get rid of it and it made sense for seth because he deals with this stuff every day he knows the best ways to maximize and if he can get a few grand in profit above what this controller is worth, it makes sense for him too. So this was a win-win trade, made sense for both parties, and that is my favorite kind of trade to do. I'm usually on the other end of it getting a bunch of stuff. This time, I filled somebody else's truck. Feels kind of good. Question everybody wants to know. What the heck is this thing worth? <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the question of the day. I have no idea. Um, the only one up on eBay, they're asking $7,500. It's in better condition than this one. The last one that sold was what? 2013? Uh, there was a one sold in 2019 and one in 2018. So yeah, 2018 and 19 sales were at $900, $1,100, somewhere in that range. That being said, in 2020, the video game boom, prices went like this, and this controller would be included in that. There just haven't been any really, really recent sales to know exactly what it's worth. I think maybe around that 2,500 range, 2,000, 2,500, but I'm not selling it. It's gonna be a beautiful display piece. So there's only a thousand of them that were made, probably a lot less than that actually still exist today. So we packed up Seth's truck and he actually was staying with my good buddy Thane, who's been on the channel for many years. Him and Seth have connected over the years. So Seth stayed at Thane's house and had a special gift of appreciation for Thane as well. I want to give you. Oh. I want to. I want to make a. I want to make a deal with you. So if you'll pay to have this graded, okay, right, uh, then we'll we'll sell it and minus the shipping and the fees and all that, and we'll split it. Done. Does that sound I like a that. good idea. I love that. That's <laughs> yeah. sick. Look all at right. that. That's amazing. This thing is Bane, clean. We're, <laughs> Bane, this is like, Let's go. Bane's going to let me stay in his house a yeah. bunch. This is $1,100 in a nine, oh I think, in a gosh. PSA nine. All right. So Thane gets a beautiful Charizard card to send to PSA. I get an amazing rare controller to add to the collection. Seth gets a van, a truck full of drums and guitars. And you guys get twice the amount of content for the rest of the year. Subscribe. Chase after the road.